All right, A's back. People got a no heat call here. Let's see what's going on. All right, heat is on. Ain't nothing going on. 72. Need some damn light bulb. Y'all need to put some LEDs in the attic. All right, so we got two units. Mine's over there. All right, folks, so it's calling for heat. There's not, nothing going on. Let's take a look in the inside here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got a seven code. All right. Seven code. Oh, new board. So we got lockout due to no ignition. Seven flashes. Lockout due to no ignition. Let's put this right here. I'm gonna sit down. I'm on my knees, folks. Let's see. I'm gonna sit down over here. I think I can sit on this edge here. Alrighty. Let's see how I can use my furnace switch here. So we gotta induce a fan motor. But we don't have ignition or igniter. It looks like the new switch that come with the sure light board.
Let me see if I'm getting 120 right here. Exactly how many volts we're supposed to get right here, but all right. So I got my meter on voltage. Let's see what we. Maybe I'm getting voltage to this. Uh, let's see if I'm getting voltage to that. Uh, igniter and if I am then I'm gonna turn the unit off and check continuity so I'm getting 120 there ain't nothing lighting up so I got 120 so this switch is probably bad as y'all can see so first I check and see if I got voltage to this igniter now for the check continuity right here. So I should get a beat if that switch is good. All right, here you see I got OL on that switch, so I'm gonna have to replace that switch. You got OL on that switch right there. That oh, that igniter. That should be closed all the time. So I'm trying to get a switch real quick. It's, Cause it was getting set, but that's like, let's see what the temperature is out there. 67 degrees right now, but we're supposed to get down about, I think 34 degrees tomorrow. All right. So I should have one of those in my truck. All right, these back people, so we got a switch right here. This is Linux part number 41 kilo 5601. This is an 80 volt, 92 watt. All right. All right, folks, so scratch this. Um, I don't, this is not the one we need right here, I don't think. I have another one, this one right here. It's a part number. Let me see. I'm going to see if I can pull it up on uh, part number 103. Looks like 100536-03. This one come with the sure like board. This one right here, as far as we were using the original board. Let's see if we were using the original board. All right. I'm trying to see if they got the actual bolts on here. But you're gonna need, if you replace the board, you're gonna need part number. They're like, I don't know, it's hard to read. I don't know what this is. I'm just looking, uh, yeah, that's not the right one. Because I think somebody may replace. Yep. Yeah. Because I'm looking at it. 
I think somebody put yeah, another technician come over here and say and the same thing happened. I think he did what I was about to do. If you call Linux, they're gonna give you this one right here. And uh, but this one is for the original board. It looks like that's that's what that's probably what he did. But this is the one I just purchased from Linux. And uh look like they purchased that one too. But that's not the right one. This is the correct one right here. See what I need to do to get to it. Hope I ain't gotta take the gas valve off and all that. Like somebody did. You know, you gotta take the gas valve off. Igniter mount. I should have checked. Check continuity. Yeah. All right. Let me know that switch is good. I'm on the, oh, we've showing open line. Lenny don't make it easy, that's for sure. So, this right here is supposed to just plug in here, what the original was, but when you get the board, it comes with this harness. Alright, 
right, so I'm going to put the power back on. Let's see what it do. Oh, yeah, shit, I got to put the gas valve on. Make that gas line. Sure, I'm gonna wire it out the way so they won't get burnt. Let's see what we got. All right. That inducer. We got a lift off. Waiting on my blower motor. There. Just got the uh, correct igniter put on here. It was kind of tough uh, getting the brackets to work on this, uh, the new igniter, but, but it seemed like the, because uh, I had my guy come out here yesterday, last night, and diagnose it, and he told me that the igniter wasn't coming on. So uh, I went and uh, actually purchased one from the modern serial number, but luckily I had one from the sure light board in my truck, the correct one, because I about to make the same mistake that the, uh, uh, not us, but another company came out. But the board been replaced before, but uh, probably was replaced in the summertime, and uh, you gotta change that igniter to a higher voltage. I, I get my numbers mixed up, but I think the one that go with the sure light uh, board probably 120 volts or 100 volts or something like that and the original one was rated for 80 volts and uh, it's, I think uh, it, it may work a couple of times but if you keep on doing it it's gonna you're gonna have uh, it's gonna kill your igniter so I think that's what happened if I would have put that one that in the part number in that I first gave you Right here, I'm gonna go. I, I might keep it on my truck, or I might take it back. But this right here, about 75 bucks. But that's the original part number right there. Now, and I don't have the part number. Well, I, I think I read it out to you early in the video. But uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get up out of here. All right.